Welcome back to a cold, snowy, slick Kokomo today, but inside and inside the studio, it's nice and warm. We have Sasha, the Education and Public Relations Director for the Howard County Recycle District. I, I made you society earlier. You did. I did. I don't know. I'm a bubble off plum today. <laughs> so, so I think it has to do with spilling coffee all down the front of you. you hey, just, that'll do it to you. It does. Recycle is recycle. It is. It is. We do a lot of recycling. Uh, we, do, we do electronics. We do HHW, which is uh, hazardous waste material. Um, we do mercury. We can recycle um, uh, aerosols, uh, non-hazardous non waste, lots of things. The normal person probably thinks paper, plastic, cardboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have satellite locations around Kokomo, 15 to 16. Um, sites that you okay, can let's take see if you those can name types them all. of things. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> didn't bring my list. You so. didn't bring your list. No. Your cheat sheet. You no. gotta have a cheat sheet. Though. I don't have a cheat sheet. Okay, I know they have one at Marsh because that's where I go. That's where uh, everyone goes. That is the busiest. Yes. It has to be because I never stop there. That there's not two other people there. I think they should rename it Marsh, the recycling facility. What does recycling really mean for us as a community, as a, as a country or as the world? We need to. But how does it affect Kokomo directly? How does it affect it directly? Well, um, we no longer have a landfill here and it gets shipped out. However, you know, you have to, you have to save the planet. We have to. Mm -hmm. um, it's just getting worse and there are many things I could talk about, but I won't um, because there's some debate going on with that. But um, you know, I think it's just important because, well, there are lots of reasons. At what? I, I, I <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I'll, I'll just stop there. Because you're right. We're filling up our landfills. Yes. You know, and, and plastic and, and, and newspaper and cardboard are easy mm -hmm. to reuse and are easy to recycle. It's not hard. Right. It just takes a lot of effort. It takes some. some. Some staff and some manpower. We used to, at one time, have curbside recycling in Kokomo. Mm -hmm. Are there any plans to bring something like that back? I hear there are plans to bring something like that back. Um, I believe the mayor, <coughs> the mayor said something about um, starting the curbside. So we're going to see how that works, and hopefully it'll help everybody uh, uh, in the city and the county. Because I'm thinking that probably gets more people to participate because mm -hmm. we basically are just lazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Because I don't recycle all of my newspapers and I do not recycle all of my plastic. Shame on you, Bill. Shame on him. Well, I'll try to do better. <laughs> I don't want you talking about you me. Have to, you have to do it to, for it to become routine. Mm -hmm. My mother is um, unbelievable on, on recycling. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's 88 years old now, but I mean, it, she has it all separated mm -hmm. and, and just insist. And mm -hmm. You don't even have to separate it anymore. It's really convenient. You just throw it all in one tub and, and you take it to Marsh and you dump it. Just dump it and Well, and you dump go. it in the bin. Don't leave it outside the bin because that's not good. Yeah, there are still some people that do that. We don't, yeah. we don't need that. No, and the only things that go in the bin are the paper and the plastics um, and glass, you know, certain types and of glass. glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no light bulbs or hazardous waste or any kind of chemicals. They don't go in there. But you and will, there's a sign posted that okay. lets you know about but that. But you will take those at on Cartwright Drive. The paper and the plastics? No. No, no, no. The the oh, hazardous yes. the, the hazardous the waste electronics and we will take that five days a week from eight to four and uh, Wednesdays from one to four. Okay, because you don't want to take your old DVD player and throw it in your trash can and and let. Uh, let it go to the landfill. Yeah, let it's it go to the bad. landfill. Yeah. Very bad. Because we are. It's we got to save the planet. It's I mean, actually it's illegal to throw electronics in the in the trash now. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. That's excellent. It'd be a little hard to enforce, but it's an excellent right. idea. Yeah. But I think that's good. And paint. I see people throw paint cans in, mm -hmm. which contaminates the paper, which leads us to not be able to recycle the paper. Yeah. All right. Well. They've got uh, an event coming up that we want to talk about. So after we take a time out, we'll be back with Sasha to talk about the big event on Saturday. Yeah. We're back with Sasha from the Howard County Recycle District. 
And I almost said yep. society again. Don't I wonder, say society. I wonder what, <laughs> where is that coming from? I, I, don't, I know. don't know. I mean, I'm having, we're a secret society. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a top secret. <laughs> you got a big event Saturday, pretty important. We do. We do. Big event. Um, it's the medication drop off. You can bring your expired medications, um, whether they are over the counter or controlled. You can uh, bring them to the the hospital, not sure the actual name of the hospital now because they keep changing it, but it's at the surgical center. There's a circle there where you drive up and there'll be people standing outside. You drop your medications to us. You don't even have to get out of your car and uh, we will take those, no questions asked. We have um, um, a police officer on hand, a pharmacist that will be there to um, handle the controlled medications. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's an event. It's tomorrow from 9 to 11. 9 to 11, Community Howard Regional Health Systems, uh, the best way. The Is best that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, you know, you, I got to get that right or Janet Knight would, and Jim Allender will come looking for me and I can't have them, I can't have them chasing me down. Okay. But, uh, and I was just there at the surgical uh, unit just, what, uh, seven weeks ago when Dr. Blackledge performed another surgery on my foot, so. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've helped pay. I've helped pay for the surgical center. Good. But the best way to get there is off of US 31. Just take that entrance, come up. It's the building uh, on the north side to your uh, to your right as you come in. Uh, drive the circular drive. It'll be it'll be real easy, and you'll take any medications. Any even type the, of medications, even your needles and your lancets. Okay. As long as they are in a plastic container with tape around it, and you write sharps on it with a sharpie marker, uh, we will take those. All right. That's a problem that we have overall, isn't it? We're yeah. over medicated. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're over medicated, but there are some that do not do not finish their medications, and so that's why we have this. And we don't want you to throw it in the trash. It's not good to be in a landfill as well. So. Or I've heard of people wanting to just flush it down the toilet. And, yeah, you know, that's mess not up a good idea. Mess up the water supply. You know. Yeah. Not, not good. So yeah. here's an opportunity. Not all of us need medicated, so keep it out of the water. Life is better through medication, though. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, we've put up uh, a screen, too. Can you put up the screen, uh, Tim, with all the uh, drop-off locations? No, on, on our screen behind us. Is that possible or not? Not possible? It's resourceful for us. We know where they are. We can see. Yeah, we can <laughs> see them. Well, there's one in Greentown. Right. Um, UAW Local 685. They're on Hoffer Street. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kokomo High School. One on Berkeley Road, which yep. is the Kokomo High School the now. The Kokomo High School Old now. people in town, are, uh, uh, some of us have been here a long time, we think of Kokomo High School as being downtown and Hayworth being out west. Hayworth don't exist yeah, anymore. Yeah, I don't remember that. Okay. <laughs> Kokomo <laughs> um, Street Department. The Kokomo Street Department. On uh, uh, Boulevard. Kokomo Sport Bowl. Uh, that's Northwestern uh, the, High School. That's the bowling alley. Kokomo Sport Bowl is on the bowling alley on uh, uh, Goyer and uh, Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Northwestern High School, you said, yeah. yeah. Um, Marsh Supermarket, yeah. the most famous. The most famous and, mo and the most popular. Yes. Um, Western High School, okay. we have one out there. Uh, the UCT, uh, uh, right outside UCT Park in the, in the parking area. In the parking area at uh, UCT, they're on Phillips Street. Uh, Indian Heights by the fire department. In the fire department. Um, let's see, Kmart, Kmart which is, is another popular one. Is that big? It's out right. west. They're on Dixon Road, just... Uh, uh, north of Jefferson Street, you know where that's at? Um, West Elm Street across from Moore's Pie Shop, Miller's Tavern, and Tom Thumb. Okay. Uh, Sam's Club, out that's on another popular one. Marklin Avenue East. And Ivy Tech, and then there's one in, at uh, Rucheville Town Hall. Okay, and the Ivy Tech location's on, the, uh, on their North Street property. Yeah. So uh, lots of places, uh, they've made it really easy for you uh, to recycle, and we can't stress enough how, how important uh, that is. Um, Mickey was nice to you today. She was. She couldn't be here um, to support the society. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are going to make fun me. of me now, aren't you? <laughs> so she sent me, um, so yeah, I, I kind of got thrown off by your question, but you know, sometimes your mind goes blank when you're staring at a camera. It's different, yeah. I mean, I can talk to you. You're great to talk to. Well, thank you. Um, but over here, you know, there's... Yeah, I, I think Mickey didn't want to talk to me. I think that's what it is. Oh, no, no, no. She can talk Chad, to anybody. If Chad would have been here, Mickey would have been here. But since I was here, 
I think she snubbed yeah. me. No, I think she can talk to anybody, but, you know, it was so nice of her to let me come on, and, you know, I'm just going to have to pay her back and do something nice for her. Oh, that's good, Sasha. Yeah. Well, recycling, we can't stress the importance enough. I mean, that's the whole thing, and it's not hard to do. No, no, we make it very convenient. All right, and you're located for the normal drop-off for my... Uh, my electronics and, and your hazardous waste, hazardous waste mm -hmm. is batteries all uh, of those on that Cartwright on Cartwright Drive. Forty one hundred two Cartwright Drive. That is behind. Uh, it's the back road to Richards Restaurant. Richards and Texas, Texas Roadhouse. It's just off of uh, Alto. Alto Road. Mm -hmm. So just south of Alto Road, Cartwright Drive. Uh, Monday through Friday or mm -hmm. Monday through Thursday. Monday through Friday, eight Monday, to four. Eight to four. And Wednesdays, it's one to four. Okay. So be sure you do that, recycling. Can't stress that enough. And you can bring those things anytime. We're, we're going to be there, and I'll be there to greet you. Great. And then don't forget, Saturday at Community Howard Regional at the Surgical Center is going to be the medication, the expired medication drop-off. Uh, that's important. Don't flush that stuff down the toilet. And don't throw it in your trash. We don't need it in our landfills, and we don't need it polluting our water. All right, we'll be back to talk to Mr. Alan James voice of the Kokomo Wildcats uh, in just a couple of minutes.